Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for clicking over and checking out another one of my videos. Today I'm super excited because it is another collab video with another YouTuber friend of mine. And today I'm collaborating with Gianna from All Things Pure 27. Um, I, as per usual, I will have all her links down below, her YouTube, her Instagram, everything so that you can go over and check her out. Gianna is just such a sweet lady and I love watching her videos and her Instagram is really on point. If you don't follow her on Instagram, I definitely highly recommend. She just had, well recently had one of her videos go viral and I was so excited for her. But yeah, everything will be linked down below. So yay, thank you so much Gianna for collaborating with me on this video idea. But we are doing the fall feels tag and this tag was actually created by another YouTuber. Her name is Lauren May Beauty here on YouTube. If you don't follow her, once again, I will have her channel linked down below. Lauren May is actually a new discovery of, for me as well. I found her, I think, through Amber F. Um, so I've only been following or subscribed to Lauren May for a couple months, but um, I saw her put out this fall feels tag, and I thought it was so much fun. And so when Gianna and I were talking about some kind of tag to do, we wanted to do fall theme because we both love the fall, so we decided to do the fall feels tag. So when Lauren May uh, created this tag, she did a more like category. So there's nine categories that she wants to talk about fall. So the first category was beauty. So fall beauty. And the first two products that I immediately come to mind when I think about fall makeup is my Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and my um, Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick in CEO. Now I have actually done a video in talking in depth about both of these. It was my top five beauty um, favorites for fall. So I'll go ahead and link it above so you can uh, check that out if you want to go in depth. But I mean, basically, for this palette, you should, I mean, just look at those colors. Tell me you don't think about fall when you see those colors. And then uh, the lipstick, I have it on my lips. This is just my favorite nude to wear in the fall. End of story. But yeah, very quick and easy. If you want to hear me rave more about these two products, definitely go check out that video. But just these are these are just my favorites and when I thought about all the makeup that I have and I thought about what do I like what makes me think of fall these were immediately the two that I thought of so I had to share that all right fall polishes now I actually have a couple and the first one I'm going to talk about is kind of cheating but this is my life I'm a, I'm a mom I'm pregnant with my second so I'm busy I'm a blogger I'm a youtuber now I'm busy so I don't always have time to do my nails now and this has been my saving grace. It's from Impress Manicure. I've done a post with them in the past, and ever since then, I've been hooked on their uh, their press-on nails. And this one in particular that I'm wearing right now, I think it's just, it screams fall. When I saw this on the shelf, I was like, yes, I want those. I like the matte look, especially for fall, but then I like the little uh, little gold that the accent nail makes me think of leaves and I think it's just beautiful. I talk about these a lot on my Snapchat. Uh, I personally always, even though these are press on nails with their own adhesive, I still go on with a nail glue underneath before I press these on and I can get them to last a week if not two weeks if I'm careful, which these days I'm never careful. So, But I can get a good week, possibly two depending on how um, nice I am to my nails and that's just fantastic for me because then for a good week maybe two I don't have to worry about my nails chipping which happens like two days after I paint them so I really like this and this style particularly I am loving the style is called boogie down so if you are curious go look it up I think it's beautiful and totally perfect for fall I did want to mention a few polishes though because you know it did ask for polishes um, and I am someone who who does enjoy uh, painting my nails but just I'm so hard on my on my um, hands in the day-to-day -day. usually no matter what top coat I use they chip two days in sometimes even the next day but I picked these four shades out because they're kind of the colors that I think about and go to when I think about fall and these are four Formulas I really enjoy so let's just pick out one this is new to my collection it's from Julie G and it is their fall I forget what uh, collection this is I can have it linked down below but this is in the shade faith and I just think this is a really gorgeous color this is the I think the brightest color when it comes to my fall my idea for fall but this is really gorgeous I painted this on my toes and I've been really enjoying it the formula also is very nice as I said everything always chips on me so I really don't notice a huge difference unless they start chipping within a, like a couple hours of doing my manicure then that that nail polish doesn't get used again but this will last a couple days it works Another color that I like is from the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel line. I really like their Miracle Gel formula, but uh, this is the Make Me Mauve, and I just love the really, um, the very creamy, light, mauve tones um, for my nails in the fall, and this is one color that I've been eyeing. I haven't put this one on my nails yet, but I'm looking forward to it. 
And the other two colors I wanted to mention are both from Glisten and Glow. And these are actually a collaboration with YWP here on um, YouTube, Young, Wild, and Polished. She collaborated with Glisten and Glow to create four shades, which I love all her shades. I bought the collection. But these two were two um, colors that just stand out to me that I can't wait to put on my nails this fall. And the first one is Topaz's Cabin, which is this kind of um, smoky gray blue I don't know, it's just really fun and unique, and this is a color I really like. I know it's not something you would really think about when it comes to fall, um, but as it gets colder, I feel like this kind of is weird to wear in the summer, so I really gravitate towards it um, for the fall, and I've been eyeing it. And I've already put this one on my nails this fall. It's Duke Berry, and it's a gorgeous kind of smoky, deeper purple, and I just think it's stunning. So, so yeah, these are kind of the tones that I go for. I don't know if you'll be able to see them very well, but these are the kind of tones that I go for when I think about fall and my nails and what colors I want to put on them. So the third category is fall scents, and when I think about fall scents, I think about burning candles because I love burning candles all year round, but specifically in the fall. And my favorite right now, and what I need to go repurchase because I finished is the American Home by Yankee Candle. You can get this at Walmart and it's a sweet and salty caramel and it smelled so good. I burned this all last year. Um, I think I originally purchased this when I did a collaborative post, a sponsored post with them on my blog. I can link that down below. But I burned that all uh, all that season and then all the next season and then I've, I finished it up. But uh, it's it's a really nice smell. If you like it, and it's not too, like, I don't really like pumpkin-y, but I like the spices. And um, this is not, this wasn't too sweet. It had enough salty in it that I, I really enjoyed it. My daughter really loved it. We love to burn it. Every morning she would remind me to light it. So I enjoy this scent. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be going back to Walmart to repurchase because it is fall and I don't have a scandal anymore, so. All right, category number four was fall movies, and honestly, I don't watch a whole lot of movies, especially now like fall or like Halloween themed movies, which is I think where they were going with this. Um, believe it or not, I've never watched Hocus Pocus. I'm just not a big movie person, um, but when I was thinking about, I was looking at our shelf of, you know, 20 movies. <laughs> we don't own many movies. But I was trying to think about a movie that I enjoy watching and that makes me think about the fall. And one I've noticed that I've watched, I think twice since um, this uh, September, you know, started and then now we're in October, but was the um, Alone Yet Not Alone. And I think the reason this <laughs> makes me think about fall is because she's outside all the time and you just see the leaves changing and nature and I don't know, I just think about fall. So I feel like this is kind of you know, doesn't really apply to this, but it is a movie I think about when I think about fall movies, so I'm putting it in. Um, if you've never uh, heard about Alone Yet Not Alone or watched the movie or read the book, I recommend the book. The book is always better than, than the movie, but it, the, the movie is also really good. If you're not a book person, I highly recommend it. It's a true story. It will, uh, the first time I read the book, I was in tears, and I think I was like 10 years old when I read the book. It's about the Swedish family that migrates to America, and these the, these two sisters who uh, get kidnapped by Indians, and they get separated, and it's just an, a really amazing, um, very amazing story about uh, the older sisters, specifically her journey. Um, in getting back to uh, her, fa her, her family and finding her sister. So I highly recommend this movie. Okay, number five, fall music. Again, I'm pretty lame. I don't really have any kind of a song that I like to listen to specifically in the fall. Um, I'm not big on Halloween. I just, I don't, I'm not big into scary. <laughs> I don't like scary. So I really don't have any. But if you want a music res recommendation, music that I love to listen to is anything from the piano guys. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you hear them in the background a lot because I always have their music going. I got to see them live in concert one night, which was amazing. But yeah, the piano guys are really, really awesome. All right, number six, fall foods. Now this one was really easy for me because as soon as fall comes around, the one thing I think about is pecan pie. I just want some pecan pie, please. Anytime. I mean, and it's the funniest thing because like I can make pecan pie any time of the year, but for some reason I feel like it's only acceptable to make it and then I only see it in stores in the fall. But I love pecan pie. I like... I like any kind of pie, really. Um, you could say pie in general is real. I really enjoy in the fall, but I like pecans. I do. I do. So pecan pie is my favorite type of pie, and every fall, every Thanksgiving, we have to make something with pecans in it. So 
that's my favorite. So number seven is fall traditions. And this one was kind of hard because if you guys don't know, um, I've only been married three years. I got a, a daughter, I'm pregnant with our second one, but my husband's going through residency. He's a, he's a doctor and right now, I know it's confusing if you're not in the medical field, but he's going through his residency and he's been going through, he's in his third year now. So most of my married life has been spent going with him through residency and it is very intensive for him. Um, he has really long days and even when he's done with his very long days, he's got so much to study in order to stay on top of things that we just don't have a lot of free time as family. So we honestly really don't have many traditions when it comes to things we do in the fall. But one thing I will say is every year his residency um, has a mandatory like fun day um, at a nearby amusement park. So we go there and just spend the day together. So we do that every fall um, and it's something I really look forward to. Neither my husband or I are big on like amusement parks, but now that we have a daughter, we love to go because it's something special that we can do with her. So we enjoy it because we walk around the park. We do a couple rides. I mean, my daughter's turning two in December, so still young, but it's just fun to do with her. So yeah, that's a tradition that we've been doing for, uh, we're about to go do it the third time and uh, <laughs> this month we'll be going and it'll be our third time going to that amusement park. But that's something really fun I look forward to and yeah. That would be what I call, that would be our family tradition. Okay, number eight is fall memories. And this one is really easy for me because um, growing up every fall around October, September, October, my family, um, before I got married, my family would go up to the mountains in Tennessee. My grandfather has a cabin and uh, he, he bought it, oh my goodness, what, eight, nine years ago. And so ever since he bought it, he was like, hey, it's available whenever you wanna go. So every fall we made it a point to go up to the mountains and I love that because if you have never been to Tennessee in the fall, you need to. It's gorgeous. You see all the leaves changing. Like there's so many mountains and then all the trees on the mountains are varying colors. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. I have so many amazing memories with my family there. They still go to the mountains even um, even now, which I think is awesome. And um, oh, well, we're, we're going to get into that in the next question. But yeah, they still go. I kind of miss not going with them. But yeah, that is definitely a fall memory that... I have and I just it's a very special memory that I enjoy looking back on and when I think about the fall I think about Tennessee and I think about all the vacations we had there as a family okay so next one is number nine um, fall bucket list and this might be kind of lame but it is it is on my to do like my bucket list that I want to do someday but it is to go to Tennessee to the mountains as a family soon. Um, my husband, as I said, he's in residency. He just doesn't have the time to take off and go on vacation yet. So one day, I think maybe next year during his last year of residency, if not the, the year following that, I want to go as a family because I've always gone with my family and I experienced those memories growing up and I want to be able to go with my family, my husband and my daughter and my son when he comes and I want to experience the mountains, experience the mountains in the fall with my family. So that is on my bucket list and maybe we'll get to check it off next year if not the following year but at some point I want to do that. All right those are all the questions. That was the fall feels tag. Um, when Laura and May did this I just thought it was a lot of fun. You guys know I, I enjoy doing makeup, vi uh, makeup tags and fall tags especially so when Gianna and I were talking about what kind of uh, collaborative video we wanted to do I thought about this one. I was like oh yes let's do it especially since it's a relatively new tag that I'd love to see get going. So yeah, that is the Fall Feels tag. I'm going to tag a couple friends down below, but uh, definitely go over and check out All Things Pure 27. Gianna, her video, I will have it linked down below, as I said. But go check her video out. Check her channel out. Check her Instagram out. Tell her I sent you, sent you and that I said hi, and I hope you'll follow her. She's really sweet. She does really great tutorials. Um, I really enjoy watching them especially if you have um, hooded eyes. She's really a, a lady you should check out and watch and follow because I always think her eye makeup is amazing. And if you're coming over from Gianna's channel, thank you for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed uh, kind of my vibe and my personality. And if you did and want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Hit the like button. That's great as well. Um, I just enjoy making content on here and it's been a very fun experience. So I want to continue just putting out content that you guys enjoy seeing, but that I also enjoy creating and that I would want to see more of on YouTube, I guess you could say. But yeah, anyway, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for watching this video. 
And with all that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.